All right, guys, today we're going to work on slice. So the reason why I want to show the backhand slice is it's a little bit um, harder to do. So I have a ball machine coming by or feeding some balls to us so we can talk about this and I can actually hit a few. So just want to make it very, um, like, make it sen make sense of it instead of just saying, oh, you slice and you do that kind of thing or, or whatever I'm hitting. Like, why am I doing that? All right. So... I, I want to go into the details of that. So the first thing we want to think about is what we're trying to do to that ball and why. So when the ball is, when I'm striking the ball and I'm trying to hit slice, I'm trying to make this ball spin the opposite direction that it's going. So it's going to be spinning from top to bottom going back. Okay. So the idea then is when that, when it does that, it's going, when it hits the ground, depending on how you slice it, it's either going to sit there like a t-ball. It's almost going to go straight up, straight down. It's just going to sit there, or it's going to skid across the ground. So depending on how you hit the ball, okay? So that's the first thing of what you're doing to the ball. You're going to make the ball spin backwards somehow, okay? So the next thing you want to think about is why we do that. So the one thing we do, we slice, is because we want, uh, there's a few reasons. Uh, I'm playing an opponent, for example, that is tall like me. Uh, you don't want to keep the ball up. Maybe that player ha wants the ball up. Maybe they have a western forehand grip and they're hitting the ball really high. They like to hit the ball you know, above their shoulders or shoulder high. You don't want to have a ball that high. So the whole idea then is, well, what do you, uh, you want to keep it low. It's hard to do that with topspin because topspin, as you hit up on the ball, it's going to go, it's going to spin forward. And then when it hits the ground, it's going to kick up. Okay. So when I hit top spin and hit up on the ball like that, it's not going to um, keep the ball low. So that's one reason why we slice. Another reason is that I can reach. So when I'm on de defense and I'm over here and I can't reach, I can still slice the ball pretty well or get to the ball with a slice rather than a two handed backhand. Even when I have a two hander like this, it's really hard to get any pop on it. Well, I can slice the ball. Roger Federer does this very, very well when he plays about slicing the ball and keeping in the point when he's off balance and they pulled him out wide. So keeping the ball low, okay, um, being able to increase your range of motion, right? I can reach more is another reason. Uh, another thing that you want to think about why we slice is that if an opponent doesn't like to come to the net, you can hit something called a drop shot. So you're hitting up on the ball and you're making it kind of go soft, uh, so have it land softly on the ground um, in front of the net. And you know we look at a good drop shot as something that maybe bounces twice or even three times in the service box. So I'm just hitting the ball, nice little slice, okay? So the one thing you wanna be careful about is not hitting the ball in the net. So usually when we slide, when we do a, a drop shot, we're closer to the uh, we're closer to the net because then I can hit a very good uh, drop shot because I I don't have to hit it so far and it'll stop in front of the net a lot easier. So I usually want to do that when I'm on the offensive. My opponent's backing up a little bit and they're not able to hit the ball as well. So so now we're looking at why we do it. We keep we you know we want to keep the ball low. We want to hit a drop shot. It increases our range of motion. I can reach the ball really far. Um, so those are all great things to do, but we still haven't even, even talked about how we do it, right? So let's go over the, the main idea of doing this, okay? So when I want to hit the ball with slice, okay, I want to be able to hit the ball and make the ball spin backwards. But the problem with that, of, of that concept, is players tend to want to chop at the ball. When I chop at the ball and do that, the ball doesn't really go anywhere. It just sat in front of the net. It doesn't really go very far. And when I want to like, and I try to slice it forward, it, the ball just sits there. And if I'm not trying to hit a drop shot and I'm just trying to hit a slice and I do that, the ball's going to pop up and just sit there. And my opponent, and it's actually going to bounce high. My opponent can hit the ball pretty hard. So I don't want to do that. So I want to learn how to hit the slice and keep it low and be able to drive into it and be aggressive, a little bit more aggressive with that. Okay. So one reason the one, so the one thing that I uh, like to talk about is the angle of the racket that will help with this. So the angle of the racket will help create spin. 
So if you ever watch, um, I like to use Roger Federer because he slices a lot. But when he brings his racket back, it's not like this. And he's not bringing his head, the head first. The head does not go first. It stays back, okay? So this creates spin. So when I hit the ball at an angle like this and it hits the racket, it's going to go backwards and it's going to spin backwards as it rolls off the racket. As long as I go straight forward with this angle, I will create backspin, okay? So that's the key on, that's the biggest key I could do is if I go forward right there, I hit backspin, the ball skidded, and I'm going forward. I'm not trying to chop down as much as go forward with the ball. So the more forward you can do, the, the easier it is to slice. So if I want to get down and push through, I didn't really... If you notice my racket head, it didn't drop much, okay? I didn't release my wrist, and I'm not releasing my wrist to, to make it loose. I'm going through it, maybe releasing my wrist forward a little bit, right, to make it go forward, but I'm not dropping my wrist. And from what I've noticed, a lot of it is a strength problem. So a lot of people have um, the top of their uh, arm, you know, you got to lift your arm up to be able to hit a slice. you got to keep it up. So I think a lot of problems is, having that strength to come across the ball and do that. So when I really want to slice it, I'm going to use both my arms, tops of my arms, stay low and go through it here. And now I'm able to keep it on the path that I hit it. It's going to stay on the path that I want to hit. If I release it off the path and not be keep it within the path I want to hit it, it's going to be a lot harder to keep a slice going, okay, and make it go, make it skid. So make sure your racket is an angle and you're keeping it forward at all times, okay? So when I'm going forward, it, it will go forward with that spin. You don't have to create spin by chopping at the ball. The angle of the racket will create spin. Using your other arm to push, it's a lot easier. It's like balance. If I just drop my arm, really hard to balance that. So I like to use my left arm as a balance, kind of like if you're snowboarding or surfing, you're going to use both arms for balance. So that's another step. The other thing is a lot of players usually will slice when the ball is low because it's hard to hit a top spin ball when it's the, when the ball is low. So when you want to slice, usually a lot of times you're slicing balls that are a little bit lower too. Uh, we didn't really talk about that, but that's like a defensive shot. You know, if the ball is really low, I'm going to slice the ball too because a lot easier than trying to get the ball uh, with topspin when the ball's really low. So if I want to slice it, I want to stay really low, okay? So a lot of players will stand really tall, and then they'll be here, and then they're going to go down on the ball, and the ball floats. And they're like, why is the ball floating? Well, it's because they have to have a wide stance. They want to push into it with their back leg and stay down on the ball. The ball is going to go straight as much as possible. Now, if my back, my back shoulder is pointing down, the ball will go in the net. So I got to make sure my shoulders are level to the ground, parallel to the ground, okay? Because that allows me to keep the path of the ball. If I want to hit like a ball going up, I'm going to do that, right? Ball going down. So I got to keep my shoulders steady here. So when I'm hitting it, I'm going to stay low, shoulders steady, keep my shoulders forward, and then push out. And then there we go. We got a pretty good slice there, okay? So I want to make sure that I'm staying low, have a foundation, and I'm keeping my angle um, the angle of my racket back so that my I'm always leading with my handle. I am not leading with my the head of my racket. I am not bringing it forward. I'm keeping that there. You can even notice that this angle doesn't change much as I'm hitting, right? So I'm keeping it very similar so I can hit that same ball over and over again. I don't have to rely on timing like racquetball. We use our wrists a lot. We don't rely on timing as much um, with that because that would be really difficult to do. We want to make sure it's the same stroke every time, okay? So kind of think about how you're hitting these balls and making sure, you know, you're level, you're staying down, and then you're keeping on the same path that you want to hit it. And then try to experiment on trying to hit the ball with a little bit of touch. You're going to not have such a, uh, a strong grip for a drop shot. So I'm going to grip it a little softer when I hit a drop shot. You can play around with that. And just push forward and nice and easy and see how many bounces it would take to get into the other uh, service box. And then trying to push through and keeping the ball low. I always determine how well my slice is by how low the ball will, will go. So that ball stayed really low. 
so therefore I hit a pretty good slice. So try it out and you can add this to your uh, repertoire because you're going to find opponents that do not like this and you're going to want to use it when you have that. But if you're only hitting topspin or just flat balls, it's going to be really hard to make your opponent uncomfortable. So give it a shot and hopefully you'll, uh, you'll like it. All right, good luck.